up y'all and bring you guys another video first things first thank you so much for watching please hit that subscribe button for more boxing and please hit that like button it helps out the video helps out the channel i'd really appreciate it so anyway bring you guys my post fight thoughts of the fight between terry harper and katarina thunders they recently fought over in the uk in the undercard of katie taylor's fight fight was shown live on the zone over here in the united states of america sky sports in the uk and fight lasted nine rounds fight lasted fight ended in the ninth round with terry harper successfully defending her wbc and ibl junior lightweight titles um yeah she was putting a beating on uh, katarina in that ninth round uh she landed a big shot to the body you know tried to go for the kill and uh, the referee victor laughlin stepped in and stopped the fight some argue it was a an early stoppage in my opinion yeah i can see why it was an early stoppage i mean katarina still looked like she could have fought on and go the distance um but at the same time, she, she wasn't really responding too well. So it's one of those stoppages where, you know, you just don't want the fighter to take unnecessary punishment at that point. Because Terry was winning the fight. She was winning the fight comfortably, at least in my opinion. And, um, you know, she was on her way to winning anyway. So it is what it is. Uh, Harper, I mean, um, Tanders and her team, her promoter, I, I think her promoter, uh, uh, Sourland, I think their promoter, they're not happy about the stoppage. They wanted uh, the referee to give her more of a chance. But, you know, you just don't want a fighter taking unnecessary punishment. And I feel like that's the case in this fight. Um, you know, Tonda showed a lot of heart and determination. But in the end, Harper has power. I mean, she has power. If you look at her, if you do, if you watch the the knockdown itself or the stoppage itself, the zone posted up on the official uh, social media page. Um, you know, you could see where was it? It's right here, where she threw a right and followed with a left to the body, landed it, landed it right at the at the body. Perfect shot in the midsection area. You could see Thunders crunched forward, and you could see Terry just trying to go for the kill, throwing punches upstairs, downstairs stalking stalking uh thunders um cutting off the ring pretty well staying in front of her uh, thunders showing a lot of heart and determination by throwing back um but you can see that she's hurt she's you can tell uh, that she's still trying to recover trying to gain her composure and uh harper's just going at it at her and um you know you, you can see Thunder still in the fight it's not like she completely she's completely gone and i feel like that's you know one of the reasons why people some people are, are complaining about the stoppage um but she was barely responding to the the pressure excuse me the pressure that terry harper was uh, applying in this uh, last round in this night round and you can just see harper is still lively trying to go for the kill land a good upper right there and followed up and referee decided to stop the fight step in and stop the fight uh thunders looked like she wasn't complaining um but but yeah you know it is what it is um referee's job is also to watch over the safety uh of the fighter and uh, i feel like he took care of thunders in this one but you know it to each their own right uh i'm sure a lot a lot of people disagree with me on that one so anyway with this win terry harper remains undefeated successfully defending her titles improving to 11 and 0 one draw six wins come by way of knockout tko um when it comes to what's next for her obviously unify we have a new crown champion in this division as well michaela mayer mayer is calling out terry harper why not let's see that fight eddie hearn bob iron matchroom top rank make that fight make it a reality in 2021 please as for Thunders, she suffers her first loss in her in her pro career, 13 and one, 12 win, two wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Um, you know she it's her first loss. She's 32 years old. She's kind of getting up there in age, but it's not the end of the world. I'm sure she'll rebound. She'll be back, and uh, this won't be the last time we hear of Thunders. Probably, I don't think it'll be the last time. So, anyway, 
If you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please, and like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.